let's look, let's go back to your time. You were at Arsenal for so long as a young man until you were you were the veteran of the side. How were you kept motivated by, say, George Graham? Because from what I heard, the Arsenal players under George Graham weren't exactly the best paid in the league, were they? No, we, but we were up there. It's kind of relative in those days. Man United were the team in those days. And I wasn't far behind Brian Robson in that day. <laughs> I think I was on 75 a year and he was on 90 a year. A year. <laughs> a, year. A, year a year. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, what was your point? What did you say? <laughs> how, do you, how do you stay motivated? Because um, it motivation. kind of links back to Ozil and his £350,000 a week and the motivation, etc. I want to know how you stay motivated. How did George Graham and Arsene Wenger do it? George was a, um, a very strict... He, he, he was very strict. He, he was more, um, um, you know, stick than carrot, you know. Uh, I think Arsene was more carrot. He, he worked more with love and communication and mediation rather than Jules going, you do this, you do that, you know. But we did... Work on an RIP, you know, his assistant died last week, Theo Tholi, if I just give a shout out to Theo. What what Theo did, he picked us up after George knocked us down. <laughs> Theo Tholi would pick us up. He was the kind of comedian in the camp, you know, he did the warm-ups and stuff. And, and we needed that, you know, we couldn't be bashed, bashed, bashed all the time by George Graham's hammer, you know. Uh, yeah, God, God. God rest his soul. So that that was the way. So motivation, you know, we we were internally, you know, we all wanted to win. I came through David Rocas and Michael Thomas, you know, Martin Keown, Noel Quinn, uh, like is it Paul Merson. We had six internationals in our youth team. Uh, Rocky Rocas, you know, and all us guys. It was within us, you know. We wanted to win absolutely everything whether it was a sack race down the road or a game of ping pong, you know, we're, we're actually, you know, we, we, we wanted to win everything. You know, it's in, firstly and foremost, it's got to come from within. And that was one of Arsenal's principles. You know, it, it changed under Arsenal. He looked for technique first. But back in the day when the recruitment was going on at the Arsenal, first thing they looked for was attitude. That's very different today. You know, that's the first thing they do. Terry Murphy, Steve Rowley, all these scouts, you know, they always used to ask, you know, what, what's he like? What's he like as a boy? What's he like as a, as a person, you know? Does he want to win? Does he want to fight? You know, has he got the right attitude to play for the Arsenal? And it's kind of gone away from that. Under Arson, he, he put a new uh, memo out. I remember seeing it about 2006, 2007, where he was looking for combination play and technical stuff. And you're thinking, oh, first and foremost, to be an Arsenal player, you have to have a DNA of the club, you know. And what does that mean? You can give it lip service at times, but what does an Arsenal player look like for you? And, I, and in the last 18 years, and Emma would probably tell you better than me, you know, I don't know what an Arsenal player looks like anymore. 